Bro, shalom, shalom. Brother Ozma Wath once again with another quick lesson. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son's name of the world, you know the call of Jesus Christ. Real name of Hebrews, Yahweh Shah. I also want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS who taught us the truth and who rule well. I want to say shalom to all you sincere hearted Akim and Akwath that's making your bodies a living sacrifice on a daily basis. Right? So this is going to be a very quick lesson. Uh, you know, just um, another update upon, uh, you know, a topic that we had went into uh, plenty of times, man, um, you know, but just uh, more things, you know, another indicator to let we to let us know, you know, that we're almost out of here, man, right? Because we know according to uh, the prophecy in Revelation 13, 16 concerning the MOTB, you know, I don't want to say, you know, that the full on, you know, uh, words because, you know, they'll give me another strike. Uh, so that's why I wasn't able to upload on this channel for about, um, you know, the past week because they hit me with the strike. Um, but nonetheless, you know, the MOTB is here, you know, and we keep seeing, you know, these devils uh, throw out, you know, uh, articles or, you know, videos in the news concerning this chip shortage <laughs> and, you know, starting, you know, with the apostles of GMS you know, through the spirit, through the Holy Spirit, Rukaka, uh, Rukaka Dash, it's been uh, telling us that, you know, that the MOTB is going to be those RFID microchips, you know? And so you got to ask yourself, why Why do they keep telling you that it's a chip shortage? Well, it's because it has been a spike in the production of them, man. It's not that uh, they just stopped making them. You know, they. I was looking at some of the reasons why, you know, um, they tell you why it's chip shortages. They say because the you know, of course, the pandemic and all those things, you know, um, you know, sanctions from the U.S., but no, in all actuality is because they're really preparing, you know, these RFID microchips uh, for the masses of the people to fulfill the, uh, the prophecy in Revelation chapter 13 and 16, right? But nonetheless, you know, I just played a couple seconds of this, you know, just to hear this. The world is currently experiencing computer chip shortages in China is no exception. All right, so it's going to how China is no exception. You know, also fulfilling the prophecy in Revelation 13, how it says that it makes all the world, all the world to uh, basically bow down to the image of the beast and take the mark, uh, <laughs> like it take the MOTB. See what I'm saying? So all these nations, man, are, <clears throat> are gearing up, you know. So it's only th uh, one thing that you must, should, <laughs> you know, and will do, you know, if you're part of the hopeful elect. You know, that's for you to repent and be sober and see the times that you're living in, man, because we're living in some beautiful but yet dangerous times. Let me grab this in uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, I want to say 11, verse 3, he says, for I fear, lest by any means I was like you. Let's see, where is that at? Um, I got this second Corinthians 2 and 11 it says uh, this all right <clears throat> it says lest sh Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices right we are not ignorant of this man's devices right he's telling us that there's a chip shortage due to you know blase blase but we know ultimately why there's a chip shortage is because the, hey the MOTB is here they got a chip for everybody whose names is not written in the book of life, man. According to Revelation chapter 13 and Revelation, uh, uh, what was that, 14, you know? If, you, if your name is not written in the book, of, in the Lamb's book of life, you know, you are going to get chipped, man. You know, you are going to get chipped. And if you don't get chipped, you know, you're going to die the death of an infidel, you know, for some other, you know, with some other, you know, <clears throat> bogus way of going out, you know? But it says uh, that word device goes into Strong's G 3540, Naima. Naima. And it says a mental perception, thought, an evil purpose. See that? <clears throat> so we are not ignorant of this man's evil purposes, his evil schemes. Why? Because we have the armor of, uh, of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, according to Ephesians chapter 6. All right. So I want to pull up this video. I'm going to start playing it more and more and more often, you know, um, as we see, uh, you know, this, this, 
ultimate gen of this devil, you know, the MOTB, you know, being rolled out. Because we got to remember that your current president, his uh, his heart's desire, you know, uh, which is to fulfill the the plans of the elites, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, chip the masses, right? This has been his heart's desire since, as we can see this date on the screen, it says 2005. Even when he was, uh, I believe he was a, either a governor or a counselor or whatnot, uh, or senator. Yeah, he was a senator at the time. All right, so let's listen to him again. And it says, and I played, and I played this in the previous video. So this is the video, you know, playing off of. Um, and once again, this is a video that was uh, that was recorded in uh, September 20, uh, 25th, two thousand five, with Joe Biden. And it says uh, he makes an astonishing revelation at the just fast forward it. Listen to that again. Let me rewind it. Yeah, exactly. So he said this in you know 20, uh, 2005, man. All right. Can a microscopic, uh, microscopic tag be planted into someone's body, man? Listen. You see, you see that? <laughs> You know, he said, you will rule on that, mark my words. You know, you also, if, you, if you're a spiritual man, you're going to pick up on spiritual things. First Corinthians 2 says that the spiritual man judgeth all things. He says, mark my words, man. All right. <laughs> and this is going into what? The MOTB. All right. So, <clears throat> hey, man, we're not ignorant of this man's devices. So let me just grab this real quick in First Peter. Peter 1. I'm going to end it out after another precept. This first Peter 1 and 13 says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Let's go into this word sober, right? Because right now the whole world is, you know, drunk off of the wines and philosophy of Babylon the Great which is the reason why they're staggering all over this man's image, you know, and eventually they're going to let this man go in unto him, man, all right, because they're drunk, all right, but this word sober means to be sober, to be calm, collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circumspect, see that? So we need to be calm, collected in spirit, and we need to be watching, see that down here it says to watch, that's what circumspect means, man. Right, this is Luke chapter 21. Verse, uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh, 34. He says, and this is Yahweh Shah, red letter. He says, and take heed to yourselves, meaning pay attention to yourself, man. Examine yourself, see where your mind is at. All right, less than any time your hearts, meaning your minds, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares because this is part of the enchantments and, uh, you know, the enchantments of the elites. You know, they like to make you busy, you know, give you all this damn busy work as slaves, you know, in your everyday life to where you, you know, you become disenchanted with the scriptures. You become disenchanted, you know, with these holy oracles, these holy prophecies. So this day is going to come, come up on you unawares, man, because you're drunk in the spirit. You're drunk with all these things that Babylon is just throwing your way. You know, child support, you know, bills, your bosses, you know, on your back. See, these are all uh, plots and schemes that Yahweh Shai has permitted for this devil to, to basically push out, to weed out the undesirables, to weed out those who don't have intents to be watching for our Lord's uh, coming. Right. Verse 35, for as a snare. See that what's a snare, a trap. So as a trap or a snare shall it come. On all them, see that? On all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. See, <laughs> the masses of the people, and that word masses goes into death, man. The masses of the people have no idea of what's going on. <laughs> they have no idea what's about to happen, man. Verse 36 is what Yahweh Shah tells us. Watch you, therefore, and pray. See that? Watch. And that and watch goes into uh, looking out in the prophecies, man. All right? So we got to be looking. We need to be circumspect. 
Watch you therefore and pray always. See that? And if you're a brother and sister that knows that you can increase your prayer life, which we all can, you know, now is the time more than ever, man. We need to be praying like uh, 1 Corinthians. Uh, so like, yeah, I want to say, what is that? 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing, meaning pray without stopping, man. You know, of course, you should make an appoint a couple of times throughout the day. You know, actually sanctify, you know, specific, you know, place, you know, get in your closet and you know, close the door, you know, get down on your knees, lifting up the hands, you know, and pray. But you could be praying in your car. You could be praying on your job, you know, within yourself, man. You could be praying that, you know, uh, when you're going out to eat, wherever, man, because we're in those times, man. We need to be throwing up these supplications, you know, to your about your shop, asking him to have mercy on us, man. All right, this is Luke 21, 36. Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy, see that, <laughs> to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man see that and now we know what to pray for now we know to pray that you know he finds us worthy in his eyes for us to escape these said perils man All right because it's coming up on the whole world man and nobody knows what's going on except the hopeful let this is why we're in the best place possible man you listen to you know this stream you listen to other brother streams hey the lord led you here for a reason man you know man's goings are the way of, are the lord you know, at all the places you could have been, at all the things you could have been subscribing to, you know, in this life and this dispensation of time in 2021, the Lord led you over here into the uh, uh, rivers of living water, man. So, so you got to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemal Shah for that, man. You know, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update up on that. You know, Lord willing, you few brothers and sisters was edified. Till next time, BTA, Ababa, Shalom.